with no respect. <laughs> and training ships. Touch the ropes and do them a power of good. So have I, Dick. Not as hard as I am. I'm, I'm, I'm just this minute on my feet. I'm clean the house, clean the stable, clean it up the yard. I'm sorry, Dad. You really must take things more easy. <laughs> I'm an old man. I've been cleaning out the house, cleaning out the stable, clearing up the yard. I'm sorry, Dad, you really must take things more easy. There's one missing. I'm an old man. That's the one. <laughs> you fancy doing a stupid thing like that, you might give me a heart attack or something shock like that. Ah, what's the matter? You can't dry yourself. A little ice, I can't do you no harm. Oh, yes. Oh, this is very nice. That's very south of France, isn't it? But I've been fighting on the cart. Oh, yes. It's very saint pay. Where's Brigitte Bardoni? Here he coming, did she pop inside and put on her bra, did she? I didn't expect you home so early. Obviously. So, this is how a jet set live, is it? <laughs> the outer remnants of a sirloin steak. A green salad. Tossed, I may add. An ice cream, a panatella, and a quarter brown ale. <laughs> Very nice. Do you know what I had? A corned beef sandwich and a drink from the horse's bucket. <laughs> Inside. Same as this, is it? Mm, not exactly. Oh, what have I got? What, what, what has the worker come home to? Well, what has the galloping gourmet created for me to die? Shepherd's pie and bread and butter pudding. <laughs> well, dishes made, obviously, from the corned beef sandwich I brought home today. Well, you're always at me to save money, and food's very expensive nowadays. Do you know what a steak calls? Uh, let me think. One and six a pound and two coupons. At least that's where it was the last time you gave it me. That's a lie. I had a rump steak last Thursday. Did you? I don't know whose rump it come off. It's bleeding right off. <laughs> and what did you come home so early for, anyway? I came home early because I'm knackered. <laughs> <laughs> it is hot today. There's 82 degrees in the shade. And I didn't have any. <laughs> I, mean, I do not have a power saw, a cooling bucket of drinks, and a car to keep me going. It also does not have an electric fan. In fact, the only window I've got is from the horse's tail. He tries to prevent the gnats from congregating around his bottle and glass. <laughs> you bring back much home with you. Oh, oh, how perceptive. You're getting better, Watson. I'm well aware that three and a half foot of lead piping. An old table and a brown down easel will not keep you in the manner to which you is accustomed. But this, uh, could be valuable. Hey, that's a what the butler saw machine. Ah, you recognise it. <laughs> Takes you back to your lecherous youth, does it? He used to be able to be 15 to watch them. Me and Charlie Harris used to lift each other up, eight me each. Oh, better than the pictures they are, you can stop the handle. I'll oh, stop your handle if you don't help us down. What's it like? Have seen it? What's it about? Is it the one about the maid having a bath, or the one about the mistress getting caught in the rain and taking all her toes off in the woods? I don't know, I haven't seen it yet. Here. It's French. Fifi Ela Photography. 
Here, I remember that one. Who's dead off that is? <laughs> She's standing there in the row, posing, and the photographer emerges from under his black clothes with nothing on except his socks and suspenders. His socks and suspenders? <laughs> yeah, come on, hurry up. Let's get it inside. Hey, all right, all right, all right, calm down. I'll have to rub you down with an ice cube, my <laughs> Let's have a look, let's have a look. I've got to put a penny in it. I've oh, got a penny, got a penny. Oh, penny. Oh, God, bleeding decimalisation. <laughs> and you're not good at come of it. 30 <laughs> seconds worth of red hot porn and they change the currency. Oh, boy, oh I don't get out of your pram. Patience, patience. Grace darlings of a rescue. <laughs> <laughs> 1907. Oh, Edward the Seventh. Ed Plan, I bet you knew the model well, didn't you, mate? Go on then. You can go and have another look at her. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, 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 it's my machine, I'll just privilege. You can have your penny in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, no, she's not bad. She must be knocking on 78 now. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, oh dear. How oh, did you get to your body? <laughs> what a load of old rubbish! <laughs> oh dear. Hang on, that's not what. It's gone out. It's stopped. Wait, get going, your cow, son. <laughs> three episodes, three pence. Swisters and them days, too. Did I set up yet? I've ever seen it. You could make a trampoline out of them. Uh, oh, no, let it go, let it go. Get them all. Show it, show it, show it. Get out of it. Look at the size of those legs. She could play for British Lions, she could. Yeah, that, hello, hello, hello. Here comes the photographer from underneath the cloak. <laughs> You're right. He's got his socks on. <laughs> you dirty old me. <laughs> It's a different story. I mean, th this is a girl in a bathroom. Not even the same bird. Oh, dear, what a take. Hey, this is 1920s, this is. When? Oh, it's all right, though. Uh, she's nice. There she go. She's triple. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. The door's opening. Here we come. It's the milkman. <laughs> How ridiculous can you get? The crate of milk and no trousers on. <laughs> Is he pouring the milk into the bath? He's pouring the milk into the bath. All over, all over. Now is he getting into the bath? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, come away. You don't want to see any more of that anyway. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. You don't want to watch it, Carol. It's not good for you. It's disgusting. Oh, get out of it. Exploiting <laughs> innocent people. That's what they were doing. Mass unemployment. Young men not work for years. No money. No food. No knowledge of where the first next penny was coming from. Leaning up against a wall all day, and then a fella comes up in a big car and says, You're a fine outstanding lump of a man, aren't you? How would you like to earn a fiver? How would you like to be in the films? Why are you going out? God, say, be quiet, will you? Oh, God, here we go. Now we're out to the last bird on the house. What, what, what is he going to do with that loofah? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing his pieces, Dad, Dad. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? He looks a bit like you. <laughs> He looks a lot like you. <laughs> you dirty old man. It is you. No, I don't know. It's it is you. What is you in there? You don't understand. We was all out of work. How could you lower yourself? You were laughing just now. No, I didn't realise it was my father, did I? Nobody else, no milk. You put enough of it in the bath, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I managed to take the leaveovers back home. Managed to keep a quart back. How could you? No, father. A male Linda Lovelace. Oh, I didn't know it was going to be like that. I thought it was going to be a real film. I thought I might be on in the Gaumont. Another <laughs> Rudolph Valentino. That's what he said. I might have realised when I got there. Well, 
photographer's shed in the Gold Hawk Road. How <laughs> very MGM. Yeah, that's right. They're pulling it down. That's where I got them from. I can't believe my own father. Oh, God, what my poor mother must have called for. She didn't know about this, did she? Of course she did. That was her sister in the bar. <laughs> She rose. Yeah. She died in pneumonia two weeks later. <laughs> oh, Harold, you mustn't blame her. It wasn't her fault. It wasn't my fault either. There were hard times. Everything we had was in pawn. So were you. <laughs> oh, nothing happened. It was just pretend. But it took us back. I mean, it looked as if it happened. I mean, the first two penny of us was quite innocent. I mean, that was, that was just a cover up of the disgusting penalty it was in. It wasn't as bad as that. Not as bad as that. Supposing people was to recognise you. What? After all this time, that was 50 years ago. But I recognised you. You ain't changed all that much. You're just as horrible then as you are now. <laughs> you, you don't seem to realise that the position this could place me in. Oh, now we're getting at it. It's you you're worried about. Well, I mean, title could be. I mean, just, I, I'd be a laughing stock. This could ruin my whole social standing in the community. This. Yeah. What social standing? You know very well how long I've tried to get into the Acton Hill Golf Club. <laughs> Five years. Miss Baddin, I've been the son of a wagon bowman. They're very choosy. No Seabites, no Commonwealth. I mean, there's certainly no sons of silent porn stars. I mean, even today, we don't allow actors in. I even know what keeps our clothes on. Oh, no, no. I, I should be blackballed straight away. Once again, you've ruined my chance to better myself, haven't you? You make me laugh, you do. You don't mind going and paying to see other people with their clothes off. That's all right. Oh, you can't get enough of them French films. Well, there's somebody's mothers and fathers, or, or sons and daughters as well. Oh, that don't matter, as long as it's not one of your own. Anyway, don't matter these days. All the film stars do it. Marlon Brando, Oliver Reed, they've all showed their bums. <laughs> They don't do it for a five for those, do they? <laughs> and I could be lacking yourself to Oliver Reed and Marlon Brando. Look at you. <laughs> Repulsive. There, now. I mean, I mean there, 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 there is a, a world of, of difference between an artistic flash in a highly charged dramatic film and your performance. There wasn't even a story. A milkman. With a crate of milk and no trousers on. <laughs> In a minute, there wasn't time for trousers and boots. So, no. <laughs> for a penny. That's all so pathetic. Oh, I don't know what you're worried about. Nobody ever saw it. It was censored. There was a police raid, and they destroyed every copy. They, they burst in just when we'd finished a night in a Turkish harem. I remember I was frogmarched up the Gold Hall Road in a policeman's cape and a pair of curly toed slippers. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't be saying there's more of these things. No, I told you they'd all been destroyed an hour. That one escaped. Land escaped, don't you worry. I shall destroy it myself. No, no, you haven't seen the rest of it yet. Go on, Harold. No, thank you. I've no desire to see the rest of it. I've seen all I need to. Thank you very much. Harold, may I have a look at it before you do away with it? I'd like to see it just once before you burn it. Yes, all right. Go on, look at it. I think you ought to. To see how disgusting you were. Smell. You're ashamed of yourself. No. It's just funny seeing what you look like all them years ago. Well, we all has to get old, don't we? Happened to me one day. Oh, come on, come on. Don't, don't mess about. Come on, pull your head. <laughs> Help me to get rid of this. Oh, God. No one can to recognise me. It's even got a cast list. <laughs> Milk a lady starring Albert Stenzo and Rose Bunclark. <laughs> Harold, can I keep one of the pictures? No. As a memory, just to look at now and again. <laughs> no, they're too inflammable. Nobody'd see them. I'd keep it in my suitcase. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Dave. 
but it, it's best to try to forget all about this sorry episode in real life. I should try to do the same. I have to destroy them all. Whatever you say, I don't... Couldn't I get some... Oh, no, no. Oh, for God's sake, I'll get some clothes on. Oh, well, get something on. You look worse than a skeleton. <laughs> He's well. Oh, look at his shoulders. Poor old devil. Covered in pimples. <laughs> Anybody at home? I suppose it was his fault, really. No, he was, he was just a victim. A prisoner of capitalism <laughs> and death. He didn't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, my God! Well, well, well. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. Um, I do hope you're not intruding. I did knock, but you appeared not to hear. Oh, no, no, not at all. Please, please, do come in. Oh, you are. Is something interesting? No, no, no. It's a, something that I picked up off of the round. It's the... Well, uh, good afternoon, Vicar, Mrs. Vicar, uh, <laughs> Mrs. Pakebread. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. I have an idea. It's the most strange idea. Now then, what's the matter with you? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you can't catch me again. It seems we've come at an inopportune time. No, 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 not, not at all. My, my, my father was just taking his daily bath, wasn't you, father? <laughs> yeah, that's just what I was going to do when I... <laughs> Go get some clothes on, Father. I'm, 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 I'm sorry about the... Uh, I'm sorry if you saw me. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I do apologise. I wouldn't have subjected you to a sight like that for all the gold. <laughs> oh, don't worry, young man. Charles and I started our early missionary days in the Congo. Oh, some of those chaps there were built like... <laughs> oh, was it the pygmies? Oh, I can never remember. Oh, well, anyway, straight from a Dorset vicarage to there, <laughs> a girl soon learns to take it in her stride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forget my manners. Please do sit down. Oh, of course. Oh, would you like to? Sit? No, no, no. Stand and grow good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, can I have some refreshment? Uh, a sherry, etc. Uh, uh, it's very good. It's the one Orson Wells drinks. <laughs> no, thank you. He won't stop long. We've come about the church fete and jumble sale. You know, white elephant stall and all that. Yeah. We wondered whether you had any old bits and pieces we could put on the stall. How about my father? <laughs> <laughs> well, every little helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll see what we can dig out. Some old Picasso's, <laughs> wrestler's mother. <laughs> Something to me. Yes, then, then. I'll send the scouts round to collect them. Oh, all right, we'll leave them out in the yard. I say, isn't that an old Hot the Butler saw machine? Yes. Yes, it is. I haven't seen one of those in a month of Sabbaths. <laughs> May I uh, um, have a turn? Oh, no, no, it takes old pennies. Oh, I might have one. We still get them in the collection, you know. <laughs> no, 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 it's broken. Oh, what a shame. Uh, perhaps we can get it mended. It's just what we're looking for to liven up the fete. It would be a good fundraiser there. <laughs> Surely not, no, not a church fight. Well, they're quite harmless, aren't they? Quite innocuous. We see much worse on the telly, don't we? Oh, not like this, you don't. <laughs> well, eh? May I have a look? No, no. It's, uh, it's, uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's empty. Oh, I, I thought I saw you put the drum back in. No, no, th them was just blanks. A uh, sort of a test card. Oh, pity. Still, it's a nice machine, though. Uh, you wouldn't consider donating it to us for sale? Hmm? They're very collectible. Yes, I know. I'll, I'll sell it myself. Well, we could split it. 50-50. 60-40. I do so desperately need new bells. Desperately? <laughs> yes, yes, sir. All, all right. Oh, thank you very much. And see? Yes, yes, of course. Oh, thank you so much. This is very kind of you. Good day to you. The Lord be with you. And with you. 60-40. You should need him already. Good day, Mr. Septo. Quite an Indian summer we're having. Yeah. Well, there's enough of them living around here. <laughs> right. Right. I'm here, all again. Do you realise he very nearly saw these? I'm going to burn this, as it's far too dangerous to be left lying around. Read me, mate. There's going to be now Phoenix riding from these bleeding ashes.
Excuse me. Is this a kill for tea, please? You must be joking. Look. <laughs> Mr. Stepto, how can I thank you enough? Well, what's going on over there? It's a great success. We haven't stopped taking money on it since we opened. But it's empty. It was. You wouldn't believe how lucky we've been. Our foraging party of boys scouts, while searching among the debris of the demolished photographer's shed in the Gold Hawk Road, no, no. They came across under the floorboards an old, what the butler saw, um, a theory dig of pictures. What a success! They're selling old pennies at ten pence each, and we've already taken over fifty pounds. Excuse me. Look, it's in the bloke in the machine. Let's get his autograph. Excuse me. 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 Excuse